Hello there. In this video, you're going to learn how to make things flow and shake in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing I want to do is make the screen actually flow when I say the word flow. It's flow. So what I'm going to do is zoom out the screen a little bit by making a zoom keyframe, going forward a few frames and then zooming out. And then making another keyframe, going a few forward and setting it to one. So now I've got this flow and shake. And now, while it's in this position right here, I want to make it float. So what I'm going to do is isolate this section by just using B or the blade tool to cut this section out. And then it's really, really easy. DaVinci literally gives you the tool to make things float. You're going to go to open effects, scroll all the way down till you're at the bottom and you'll see camera shapes, drag it on. And then you'll see the screen floats. And there's a bunch of parameters up here. All you have to do is go to open effects and all of these basically change how much it floats. The motion and speed scale, pretty self-explanatory. If you want it to be slower, bring them down. But if you want it to be faster, you bring them up. Slow. So I want this to be pretty slow. The PTR is pan, tilt and rotation, as you can see with these three attributes. So you can make the pan amplitude bigger, tilt bigger, rotation bigger, and then make the speed bigger. So it's so it's floating pretty vigorously and then you can bring them all down if you want a much calmer more relaxed flow I'm gonna bring them slightly up okay and that is that I'm just gonna move these keyframes out a bit because I think that the zoom in and out was a bit too quick things flow and shake all right and you can also do this with text as well so if I go to titles on the left drag in a text and then use the blade tool to isolate that I'll just say float, choose a font, give that a bit of a drop shadow. And to apply this effect uh, on a text, you need to right click and then form a new compound clip. That's just like nesting in Premiere where you know, you're know you compacting everything into one video clip. So for example, if I just took this whole thing, new compound clip, it would all form one clip. I'm just gonna control Z that. So what you're gonna do is the same thing, go open effects on the left, scroll down until you see camera shake, drag it onto there, and then change your parameters around until you are happy with the effect. Slow. Okay, gonna slow that down a little bit. Slow, shake, slow. That's a bit too slow. Slow. All right, that looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna add in the transitions that I showed you how to do earlier in a previous video. Things float and shake. Okay, that looks pretty smooth. And then for shaking, I wanna zoom in when I say the word shake, so. All right, individual result. So now, in between where I am zoomed in, I'm just gonna create two slices to isolate that once again and then we're going to use the same effect for the shake but this time we're going to drag everything to a pretty high level and now you have the shake effect things flow and shake individual resolve and there you have it 